what it do, what it is. It's your boy, the Peace Dealer. You already know we got the merch hot and popping. Other than that, welcome to another exciting special topic video where I'm going to be talking about the Pluto and Libra generation. Ooh, if you're a Pluto Libra, listen carefully, okay? I'm not going to tell you anything you don't already know, so this is going to serve as confirmation, okay? Not going to lie, as a Pluto Scorpio, Pluto Libra, the powers that be have tried to fuck you, okay? I am not excusing my language. The powers that be have tried to rob you and the Pluto Virgo generation of your birthright. And you have some people in Pluto Libra, I was gonna do an intro, but I'm just getting right into this. You have some people, Pluto Libra, who realize that and they're fighting against the resist, they're fighting as the resistance and you have some Pluto Libras who've just resigned and just accepted their fate. So this is for you Pluto Libras who are not taking shit and crap and you're willing to risk it all and your relationships because that's what you're risking in order to build this new world. So let me tell you, it's life and death for you. Pluto Librans are born, I believe, from like 71 to 83, 84, give or take. If your Pluto is 29 degrees Virgo, or 29 or zero degrees Scorpio, 29 degrees Libra, of course, this applies to you as well, okay? So, this video is, once again, like other special topic series videos I'm gonna do, breaking down the generations before I make like a mega documentary uh, about other Pluto generations. Hopefully other astrologers beat me to this. Hopefully I'm not the first astrologer to do a documentary on this and I am beaten to this, all right? But other than that, Pluto Libra, you are the most important Pluto generation right now. It's important to understand everyone who's Pluto Libra runs the world right now. Once you have like, a sextile once you finish a sextile and you step into a Pluto square the reason why it's such a check is because the generational influences that you were raised like learning you have to break through you have to take what works and completely discard the rest and you can't you you can't at all abide and keep by any of the rubbish in fixed signs there's leeway Mutable signs get away with it. Mutable signs like the Pluto Virgos who had the square with Sag and uh, the Pluto Sages who will have it in Pisces when existence ends as we know it, they are different because they're gonna be able to take bits and pieces <coughs> of, of, each, of each age. Cardinal signs, it's not the same for y'all. So if you're an Aries, if you're a Libra, if you're a Capricorn, if you're a Cancer, and you, even if you're not in the Pluto Libra generation from 71 to 84, this still applies to you because their energy directly intercorrelates with who you are. People born from 71 to 84 are having to face the huge realization that the world is on their shoulders. They run the world right now. The torch has been passed from the people born in the 60s and it's on your plate. And I'm not gonna lie, you've been given, you, you haven't really been given what you deserve. Libra represents law, justice, fairness, and there's so much corruption in the government. For you to have to clean up that mess, it's not fair. Please understand, watching this, you were supposed to be given a template that was already balanced to operate off of. So the average Pluto Libran will have an intense, insatiable amount of stress because they were born into a very unbalanced system. And that's nothing that any amount of like pharmaceutical drugs, therapy, or, or understanding will help. It sucks, but you're more than powerful to deal with this. And that's where we get to this Uranus transit, okay? So I'm going to make a part two and part three of this series. Part two, of course, is gonna be where I break down per zodiac sign 
with Pluto Libra, how this affects you, what your role in this is. But it's very difficult for you. It's probably gonna be the, the most difficult for you because as Pluto and cardinal signs, you can't go back and forth like a mutable sign. Every decision and action you make, you can't go back from. And it will intensely define your character as you've experienced. 2020 and 2021, when Saturn is 29 degrees Aquarius, Pluto is going to be 29 degrees Capricorn. And the landscape to which the decisions y'all make as citizens of territories, voters of, of elections, financial consumers that decide with your purchasing power, you have your work cut out for you. And to make this even more difficult, not only are you going through the square, you just completed a Uranian opposition. Pluto opposite Uranus, rare configuration as it may be, fully extends forth the core depth of subatomic particles that correlate to your supernatural ability and extends this forward in the most radical, unconventional ways. In your case, Libra, you are literally having to be you in order to oppose what you were taught you were supposed to be. That's why this is very painful for some of you, because for your whole life you've identified with certain themes about having to do this to be successful, having to be in this family structure to be honored and respected, having to uphold to societal paradigms and social stigmas, which most of you could care less about, but you don't have that luxury of not caring about, like certain Aquariuses do. Okay, if you're an Aquarius sun with any of these generational aspects or Pisces, it's exempt, except Pluto Libra, because what is the eighth house of Pisces? Libra. So this is only Aquarius is kind of cool here. Even Pisces with Pluto Libra have to deal with this. And think about the whole correlation of the Pluto Libra generation and its relationship to the divine to mystical and mythological concepts, to spirituality. You had a lot of atheism rise up because of the advent of modern science. So with Uranus and Taurus, the message that I have for you is that it's life and death. Your generation is transforming the world. Uranus is eighth house to Libra. Taurus is eighth house to Libra. And so this whole opposition that Pluto Scorpio is dealing now our generation is dealing with what you guys just finished the last decade because every generation gets it in decades. You have just finished an amazing, amazing chapter fully defining your character in order to prepare for war because you're going to be destroying and transforming facets of how we live on this earth based on what? Relationship contracts and legal systems. And it's, it's life or death, my friends. Even if you end up committing social suicide, that's really, that's really the way this death is gonna come apart. Some physical, but mostly socially. Many of you will be committing social suicide to end the old construct you've been labeled in order to gain the trade off your true authentic self. For those of you who make it to Uranus and Gemini, once this is down the ninth house, right? This is what's going to show you the light as you've now created this world and are also in a position to now define, of course, the legacy as it will be when Pluto's uh, Uranus is in Cancer, if, if y'all are even alive till then, because some of you won't be. But that is not a good or bad thing. You choose when you leave or, or, or stay, believe it or not. And there's so much I want to say about this because Pluto Libra is one of those gens that I have to kind of do a whole 30 minute talk about. But I really just want to leave this here. Really ask yourself, how do you define yourself? Two, how do you define yourself based on other people in relation to them? And three, what actions are you taking that are transforming this world and how we derive and build on this world. Because whether you're conscious of it or not, as a Pluto Libra, 
you have a job right now. You have to balance what was supposed to be balanced when you were born and clean up the work of older generations. And it's not Pluto Leo's fault. It's not Pluto Virgo's fault. They were deceived too. You also have to take the stasis and balance and build a better world for the younger generations. And you have to do it with charm, finesse, class, and a hair wave because y'all got it like that. So I hope this video was informative. And until next time, peace. Nigga, I be right. Flights, yeah, no. Flights, for sure. Flights, nigga, I be right. Flights, yeah, no. Flights, for sure. Flights, nigga, I be right. Flights, yeah, no. Flights, for sure. Flights, nigga, I be right. Flights, yeah, no. Flights, for sure. Flights, nigga, I be right. Flights, flight boss nigga, I been flying all night Flight, young black nigga, but I'm selling all white Things been going left, making sure I'm alright You know I got the pipe On a low, low nigga You know, you know it's dolo low nigga For sure. yeah, yeah. Motherfucker, hold on hold If on. you ain't flying, bitch nigga, you'll get flown on Damn, if it was a law, I don't abide by it you know. Bitch nigga, it's get rich or fly trying